For the first time ever, I'll be doing the One Chip Challenge. This was a viewer-requested episode, and I had never even heard about it. The One Chip Challenge is a viral trend on TikTok, and it's apparently extremely popular, so I've got to get on that bandwagon, make those sweet TikTok bucks. I'll be honest, I debated with myself whether I even wanted to do this, because this is a haunted ghost pepper. And I've already eaten a Carolina Reaper and a ghost pepper. But the audience asked for it, and the entertainer must comply. The packaging has a Aztec look to it. I I'm kind of digging it. But on the back here, there's a scale. And what we got is... Freaking hot. That seems foreboding to me. Buck, hey, we're bringing the heat and it hurts so good. Do you dare? I guess. Warning, it's freaking hot. An insane amount of ghost pepper. Even more ghost pepper. The heat is real. Getting the feeling they're trying to tell us this is hot. You think I'm afraid of you, Bakay? I've eaten two Carolina Reapers before. Two! What do you have to bring to the table? Bakay, it sounds like some sort of fancy French drink. I'm gonna open it up here. Wait for the smell. It smells good, like barbecue chips. Look down there. There they are. One chip challenge. I feel like I could do more than one chip, but there's only one way to truly find out. Down the hatch. Hmm. Looks like a tortilla chip. Oh, this isn't too bad. I don't taste anything. That was pretty good. There's a little bit of something in the back there that's kind of burning up, but... I'm not really noticing it too much. Mmm. If you've ever eaten a tortilla chip, that's what this is like, only there's a little bit of heat in the background. I've had two now. I'm gonna go to three. They say that your tongue's supposed to turn blue, but I haven't noticed it yet. Oh, this one looks a lot worse. This might be the one. So... has a good kick to it, actually. I'm enjoying this. Maybe I've just gotten too used to these peppers. I never thought that would happen. Definitely a little bit of burn in the mouth going on. But I've had about three, and uh, I'm not minding them. They're actually not that bad. So how many of these should I eat? I mean, I've already had like three. All right, let's do at least one more. Oh, that one was a bad one. Oh. That one, that one had a bit of a kick to it. What I'm finding out is that each chip is a little different, and that last one I had was really strong. Mmm. Whew. Might be right back. I'm going to go get a bag. That last one I just had, way stronger than the other ones. Thank goodness I have a garbage bag here. Not as bad as the Carolina Reaper, though. They must have been afraid of actually hurting people with this. You shouldn't probably eat a lot of these like I am, but I just wanted you all to know that I was in pain. I wanted you all to know that I was experiencing something, so I'm in pain now. I'm not lying, I may puke. I mean, I've eaten quite a few of these because I just, at first, didn't feel like it had any real effect on me. And now, now I'm just not feeling anything. A little grumbling going on in the tummy, but not too bad. All right, um, let's do one more. One more, and then I guess I'll quit. I'm not gonna eat the whole bag, that's just way too much. This is it, the last chip. Oh. There you go, I did it without water or anything. I have to say, 
it wasn't that bad compared to the Carolina Reaper and the Ghost Pepper on their own. It tasted like a tortilla chip with a bit of a kick in it. So, I'm disappointed with you, Bakay. You, you didn't have a lot to bring to the table. I could, I could eat these all day, huh? Mm. Mm. Carbohydrates, and we contain phosphorus, potassium, and iron. Oh. 